hey guys so there are a lot of videos on youtube showing you how to do signing with google in your react native app but when you move your app to production signing with google gives you an error and it doesn't work so that's what we're going to be tackling in this video so leave a like subscribe and follow this channel if you want to stay updated with all the latest tools in react native let's get right into it are you ready i'm ready i actually have a video that will show you how to do signing with google on your in your react native app but i got a lot of questions of how to make it work in production so when people move their app to production they get an error that is saying access blocked request is invalid so how do we tackle that now before we tackle that i'll have to show you how to implement signing with google in your react native app if you are using expo and even if you are not using expo we can be able to do this and make it work very well so we're going to be using this website react native google signing and this is the documentation we are going to be using to do our react native signing with google and we'll click on get started and it will take us to the installation page now the first thing that we're going to do if we're using expo in our project which is the case here i'll click on the setting up drop down and i'll select expo setup now we'll go to expo setup and we'll install the react native google signing package using npx expo install as you can see on the screen now after our installation is complete the next thing we'll have to do is to add the config plugin into our app.json file but we'll have to do one setup here we have our ios url scheme and it contains something like this now i'll show you how you can get this for your app now when you set up your app in google cloud console you can go to api and services and under credentials you'll be able to see all the credentials you've created now if you don't know how to create this or the step we used to get here you can watch my previous video i'll leave a link to it down in the description here but yeah so now we are trying to get our ios url scheme and now i can click on the ios client and i will be able to see my ios url scheme now you cannot use mine because i'll be deleting it immediately after this video because it's just for the purpose of learning so i can look here and i'll be able to see my ios url scheme and i'll just have to copy this and go and paste it in that particular place so that is how i can get my ios url scheme and i will come and paste it here in my app.json file just as we said and after doing that the next thing we we'll have to do is to set up our signing with google and how do we do that i'll just be explaining how it works because i already have a video where i shared all these informations and if you want to get it you can go and watch the video i'll leave a link to it again so now the first thing we did was after installing we have to import google signing and google signing button you might not want to use google signing button for your project and that's fine you can use your custom button for, but for the purpose of this tutorial i'll be using google signing button so after installing that i just have to do my configuration here i have my web client id which i got from google cloud console if you look at my google cloud console you'll see that i have three different credentials that i created here this configuration is even in the react native google signing documentation and you can get it from there so you can see that this configuration there are a lot of things to configure here but i just selected the ones that i need now i might not need to import my android client id because on android we have google play services that might just detect that from the device so i simply import my google button and also i have my signing function which i'm importing from another component so let's go to that component now all of this configuration are set up in the react native google signing documentation you can get all of them from there and you configure it the way you like i actually passed in console.log to handle the errors here but you have to handle the errors in the proper way i'll be leaving the repository for this project in the description below the link to it so you don't need to worry about all of this code right now so when i click on this sign in with google button it will fire up the sign in function which i just showed you and then we'll be able to sign in but i also need to let you know that google sign in does not work on expo go app if you see here i'm not using expo go to run this project i'm running a development build after doing all of this setup and you know that's one of the mistakes that some people make they won't watch the video from the beginning to the end so they can be able to follow every step and get the same results now after doing those setups that i just showed you we'll be running two commands here the first one will be to clean up our pre-build cache and the second one will be to run a development build and these commands are available on the react native google signing website oh it's so much stress to say react native google signing but anyways you can get this command there and you can run it in your terminal now after you have run a development build then you'll be able to test the signing with google i already run my development build and clean my pre-build cache and that's why i'm able to test my own now so i can select the account i want to log in with and it will work i will click continue and i am logged in 
now i didn't display the user profile on the screen here of my app but i did that in the terminal so i'll just show you the details so because i'm logging the details to the console so this is what it looks like you can have the image the user email the username and full name also now let me tell you how to do google one type signing because you might want to do that now this is what google one type signing is for example in the app we just built now you can see that when we want to log into google we have to fire up the browser the browser had to come in and then we have to be redirected after clicking continue then when we're logged in it redirected us back to our app we fired up the browser but when we're using google one tab signing we're not going to go to the browser we'll just see a pop-up of our emails once we click the login with google button we'll just see a pop-up of all our emails and we can select the one that we want to use to log in and it's very easy it's good for the user experience it's good for your users now if you don't want to use this original google sign-in but you want to use the one tab sign-in you have to pay for the premium version of the google sign-in react native package you have to pay a premium fee and you join their members and when you are part of the members you'll be you'll be able to use that one tab sign-in feature now this is why you're not seeing any tutorial on youtube showing you how to do one tab sign-in feature because it's a paid feature but it's still very easy to implement just the way we did the original google sign-in and this is just the settings for it the same way i had my settings in my sign-in component you can see that we're importing one tab sign-in from the react native google sign-in package so that in case you want to use that feature but i didn't import that one tab sign-in in my own app because we don't have that feature so that's it about google one tab sign-in now let's see how do you get your app to production and still make google sign-in to work now if you want to make your google sign-in feature to work in production you see a button here now this is my google cloud console and i'm on the and i'm in the api and services and inside my api and services i'm in the oauth consent screen now you can see an option here which says publish app you can also see the information that says my app is in testing currently now testing is a mode for development why when you are ready to publish your app you have to click on this button that says publish app so the moment you are ready to deploy your app for production then you would have to come to back to your google cloud console consent screen and then click publish app and then immediately you click publish app your app will be sent for verification when google do that verification if it's successful they will get back to you with an email and then you'll be able to use google sign in feature on your app successfully that's it about this video and somebody's forgetting to subscribe but guess what i'm going to be dropping content in relating to react native very soon the next content i'm going to be dropping will be doing features for an app like uber that has to do with google routing map calculations and distance and those kind of stuff so you have to subscribe and click the like button so that you encourage me to do more content like this stay blessed